Similar to most influencers, we all started our work based on home. Hello, 大家好，我是 Angel 许顺，欢迎过来到。There comes a point of time when a proper workspace is required to give yourself a boost of moral motivations or boost to your own career growth. When I first got this key to the unit, I was astounded by the overlooking view of the Monkara streetscape. The unit wasn't large. Is only 678 square feet, and I so much idea and requirements I needed to fit within the space. Then, then was where I knew I needed to hire an interior designer. Hello, my name is Alex Lee, and I am from New Infinity. Today's episode on Design Seat, we will be sharing with you how to make your space look like a luxurious masterpiece. Today we are about to bring you through a studio tour of Malaysia's renowned local influencer and Joe Co, designed by us at New Infinity. Turning a 678 square feet studio into a luxurious and iconic nest for the client's brand identity, sharing tips on how you can make a small studio stylish and sophisticated. If you're not subscribed to us yet, please do so now by slamming on that subscribe button and click on that notification bell to stay in the loop of more compelling episodes. Hey Google, I'm off. For those of you who is foreign to this name, Anjo was the winner of the Miss Astro Chinese International Pageant in 2014, and currently holds a dual license to practice with a master's in pharmacy. The current work studio was designed to house a corporate identity to her own brand name made by Anjo, a Malaysian beauty brand that emphasizes on beauty within natural, healthy elements. Moving on to the tip of the iceberg, let me share with you the top five tips on how you can make a small studio stylish and Instagram worthy. Tip number one: the wow factor of the entrance foyer. The moment you enter the studio, an artificial green wall tantalizes your attention. Paired with neon LED lights with pink lightings, this entrance backdrop excites the senses and allures guests and friends to have the desire to capture photographs as checked-in memory of their visits. Right beside the feature green wall, a large mirror with timber beading creates a wider visual of the entrance statement. It would seem as though there's an extended space to the studio upon entering. The entrance to a space is always a crucial statement that should not be undermined. It is the first impression to the property, and also the last impression to every property. Tip number two: distinctive furniture selection is one of the most crucial decision to the entire design outcome. Furnitures, lightings, and soft finishes, like carpets and draperies, are the final touches to the design, which dictates the mood and feeling whether or not the design ends up being refined and complete. The center of attraction, right beneath the feature wall, had to not only look imposing. But had to be comfortable. After days of furniture shopping around with Anjo, we finally decided on this posh and elegant-looking three and a half-seater premium leather sofa from Roselle. The appearance of the sofa does equity to its comfort. With the sleek brass finished steel legs, the sofa jives so well with the studio's character. With the large varieties of furniture, we also managed to pick up a few other things from Roselle. This modern-looking sideboard captivated our attention with its rose gold wooden base, which gives the sideboard a floating effect. If you're one of Anjo's followers, you may find this spot rather familiar. This corner is tastefully cultured to cater for most of Anjo's video recordings. White wainscoting, coupled with a pair of wiggish chairs and a simple side table with some decorative plants handmade by Fitchwood Flores. This corner is subtly presentable and not too obtrusive. Indeed, a pleasant addition that adds to the private workspace. Enough with good-looking and fancy furniture. I'm sure many of you would like to learn a bit more about furniture ergonomics. Today's episode on Design Seat, we are honored to have a practicing chiropractor 
Dr. Daniel Tan to share some tips on choosing the right furniture for your own usage. Hi, I'm Daniel and I'm a chiropractor. I'm the founder of Align Clinic which is located in New Valley City. I'm invited here today to talk about good ergonomics and how good furniture can help improve spinal health. A good ergonomic chair should give you sufficient support on your neck, your lower back, your thigh and your elbow. A good chair should also give you a right angle at about 110 degrees where it can equally distribute the pressure towards your lower back and your pelvis. Speaking about adjustment, have you ever thought of instead of adjusting the chair, you can actually adjust the table to suit to your lifestyle? So this height adjustable table is by Anu and it comes with a dual motor system where it provides you the maximum range of adjustment that can fit most people. So if you look at this beautiful surface, it's actually a surface by Constantino, the Dacton series, where it has high stain resistance, high temperature resistance, high scratch resistance as well. If you know that you have to stand for an extended period of time while you're working, it's a good idea for you to get a stool like this from Okamura so that you can get some support at your back as well. See, easy. Not to mention large work desks with cable organizers and sleek table legs. This is from Flack Office. As I was saying earlier, draperies plays a significant role in the final touches. In this project, we shortlisted one of our panel curtain specialists called Curtain Place. Led by Dato Jason with over 20 years experience in the curtain industry, Curtain Place carries their own self-manufactured fabrics and has one of the largest variety of fabric selection as featured in the Malaysian Book of Records. Did you know fabric selection could be rather complex? As you can see, there's two layers of curtains applied for this project. One is named as the shear. Shears are lightweight fabrics that covers the windows and still allow a softer natural lighting to be infused into your space. It is also to shield the interior to give you a measure of privacy. The second layer is called the dim-out curtains. Dim-out fabrics are referred as to privacy curtains typically made of 100% polyester fabrics that can block up to 98% of light from entering your space. These fabrics are normally washable as opposed to blackout fabrics and typically soft to touch and hangs beautifully. When I first got the unit, I had so much in my mind which I could not possibly envision, optimizing the space functionally. You may think with such a small space, designing it yourself would be a walk in the park. Clearly, it wasn't. Due to the nature of my business and a career practice, the studio was meant for frequent video shooting. And at the same time, I needed ample of workspace and storage for my products and packaging to be carried out. That was when Alex highlighted that the acoustic of the property would be a great challenge. The critical issue we face with the studio transformation is the acoustic of the unit. We intentionally did not want ceiling boards to be done to maximize the ceiling height. So what we decided to do was to furnish the flooring with carpets and SPC floorboards. This brings us to tip number four. Product improvements has been rapidly advancing innovatively and being well versed with the updated range and products could possibly improve the prospect of your designs. For this project, we explored the application of SPC floorboards. SPC stands for Stone Plastic Composite. It is a product which is commonly used due to its easy insulation, water and stain resistant capabilities. It is easy to maintain and comparatively to vinyl flooring, the durability of its fading surface is fairly more resistant. That's right, Smart Home System presented to you by HSA Technologies, a sophisticated addition to a lifestyle home or office, integrated with Google Home. From the moment you enter, the Smart Lock is triggered with a welcome mode, which kicks off the studio upon entering. Hey Google, I'm on! Imagine being able to control your entire office or home via voice command or even through your mobile phone. Be it the curtains, the air condition, the CCTV and even the lightings. The best reason to invest in smart home solutions, in my opinion, would be to maximize the capability 
of lighting design. With today's technology of dimmable and RGB lightings, you're now able to simulate your lights to suit your mood and your daily environment. Lighting may seem rather undemanding, but even for such a small unit as an example, proper lux calculations were analyzed to ensure there were no shadowy spots or dark corners which could potentially affect your eyesight in the long run. There we go, five resourceful tips which could assist you on understanding how you could furnish and renovate your property from an angle of a designer. Putting together not just space planning, but an impactful statement paired with sophisticated elements that turns a mediocre project into an outstanding assertion. My name is Alex Lee, and I am from New Infinity. Don't forget to subscribe and click on the notification button to stay tuned to more exciting episodes. Thank you for watching.